Okay, welcome to Grass River. It's a nice day out here. Uh, spring, it's a good time to watch birds because the leaves uh, are just coming out on the trees. It's also a good time to look for wildflowers. And some of our early ones are blooming here. My name is Arlene Westhoven, and I'm a naturalist here at Grass River. And I also teach drawing classes. And so, um, I, we want to have things that you can come out and do uh, on your own with a little introduction. So that's why we thought we'd put together this nature journaling class. And it's a way not only to make some nice paintings or drawings, but a way to learn about, today we're gonna do wildflowers. And so um, this will be done on the trail, or at least started on the trail. So what I do, if I'm gonna go out, I, I take a little pack as light as possible. Here's a little pack with a strap. Uh, you could fit in a camera, uh, some drawing paper, some pencils, very simply. Bug spray. <laughs> so first of all, you need some paper. And I'm using today a sketchbook that's, it is spiral bound. The reason I like that is because it lies flat. It doesn't fold up on you when you're trying to draw and you can bend this back and it's firm. And then drawing e equipment, I have a series of drawing pencils. I don't know if we could see this, but they are soft drawing pencils. And uh, so they would be 5B, B, uh, 2B. And I'm also going to take a pencil sharpener. Uh, what I'm going to really probably use the most are these watercolor pencils. And the reason I'm going to use those is because when you use these, you can use a little bit of water and they act just like... They act just like watercolors. And you can wait till you get back to a more comfortable place to work to do the drawing. So I did a quick sketch like this of a marsh marigold. And uh, let me just work with the leaf here. I'm just gonna outline the leaf really quickly. Come over where Emily can maybe see me. So uh, what I'm going to do, if I were out in the field drawing like this, I would just take this and outline it. There's uh, different colors, but I just want to get the main colors down. So I'm using this green here, and I might lightly color this in. We will see these flowers today. They're beautiful. They grow in wetlands. They have shiny leaves and petals. And they, my mom called them cowslips. I don't know why she called them cowslips, but you can look it up. Um, but that's what she called these marsh marigolds. So now I'm going to take, uh, take a little pill bottle of water and a brush. And my brushes are protected with a sleeve to keep them from getting wrinkled up, I call it, splayed out. And I'm gonna take this and just use my water to smooth this out and blend it in. And you can add a little more water to make a light place. And so I might just, I might just, I might just use the pen drawing or I might use the watercolor pencil to draw what I see in the field and then come and finish it when we uh, come back to our, our work site. 
just to make it easy because if I'm fiddling around with all kinds of gear, um, I'm going to miss something. It's like taking a picture. You miss a lot when you try to take a picture. So, uh, also, I write some details down. This has five petals. Uh, it's radial, which means it goes around the center like a daisy. Uh, the leaves are heart-shaped, very shiny. Um, and the leaves are attached. They're not along the ground at the bottom. And I write the habitat, the swamps and wetlands. So I have, I have a little field guide. Now you also, if you're of the poetic sort, you might also write your feelings about this. Uh, sunshine captured in a flower. And write something in here to make it more of a personal experience. Go ahead. So Emily just uh, took a picture of the marsh marigolds that are drawing, growing right next to the boardwalk here in the wetland. Very, they like to have wet feet, as does everything on this part of the trail. And so the three color, the two colors I'm going to use, I'm going to use two colors of, well, I'm going to use a, a yellow, and this is a, or, a light orange. I don't want pink. I'll put that in my pocket. And a couple of uh, green. And what I'm going to do, I already did a couple techniques on the leaves already. So for the flower, I'm going to outline in orange. Now, it, they're a little longer than I drew them here, so I'll draw them a little bit outside. They have a, they have a little curl in the leaf, or in the petal that you could see. There are five petals. I'm going to do this, and that's just to delineate. Of course, we have the pencil drawing, and then in the center we have um, a cluster. This is actually the flower. This is where the pollen is, and I'm going to just put a little green in here along with the yellow. The pollen is, uh, these are modified leaves here, or petals. The pollen's in the center, just like a daisy. So when we look at each one of these, maybe you could see it in the photograph, there's a little gnat in there, a midge, that's getting pollen from the center here. The outside is just to attract the pollinator. So I'm going to add this yellow. Now I'm, I'm just drawing in this field. It's going to be a real quick sketch. Uh, notice the petals are, and I'm going to color it in because I'm going to take it back and I'm going to use my water. I could do that here, but we want to show you several different things today. So this is the basic plan. And then, maybe I did have a reason for this. I'm going to get a uh, purple. I have a purple or blue for shadows. We don't use black. Black just has no life to it. So we use the a little bit of blue for a shadow here. Not much. And we'll use the blue on the stem for a shadow. We've got a bud here. Which looks like a little round ball of the petals are the five petals are folded around. Kind of looks like a little yellow basketball. So we'll put some orange on that. Then we'll add a little bit of dark green or different green to this. Oh, just sketchy. And we'll make this a little bit green. Kind of a blue green. Hear the birds? 
I've been hearing those black and white warblers everywhere. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Black and white warblers, screechy. Okay, so there's my field drawing of a marsh marigold that captures the sun that's under a cloud. Okay, well let's move on to our next uh, bloom and see what we have there. So we have down here a jack of the pulpit. It's not quite fully developed yet, but uh, it has two sets of three leaves. So we'll draw the stem here. And the leaves come off the stem like this. They kind of clasp the stem. And then the jack of the pulpit starts here. It's like a vase at the bottom. I'm going to draw a couple of lines here. And then the top, this is called a spathe, actually, curls over. And here's Jack in the pulpit right here. This is what has the pollen. Okay. So uh, these leaves aren't quite out yet, so I'm going to... They're kind of rolled up. And the veins okay so um, I'm going to put a little bit lighter green in here We don't have any shadows today because the sun is not out. Uh, shadows are good, but this does make it simpler without having shadows in here. And then in, I'm going to use a darker green again in here where the spathe is. And I'm going to use some, like a little envelope or purse that holds the spathe. I'm going to make that a little bit lighter. With some yellow. This top part's going to be lighter because of the light hitting it. It will work with the brush too with these leaves. Now for the shading on this one they actually are quite, they have some red on them as they're exposed. I'm going to use purple right now. They'll add a little bit of red, but um, it has these purpley shadows here for the lines. A little shadow on the stalk, a little shadow over here, over here. Maybe a little shade here. Then I'll sharpen this line a little bit. Okay? Yep. Okay, so I have my sketch of the jack of the pulpit. 
I'm going to take a brush and just uh, fill in right here. I'm using, I'm still using the watercolor pencils for this uh, type of fill. It's just easier to get your, actually those leaves are a little bit bigger, so I'm going to enlarge them. If it's wet, I can dab off a little bit. The towel adds some texture to it, which is okay. Now I want to bring out Mr. Jack in the pulpit a little bit. So I'm going to take that uh, darker color and I'm going to shade in here. Now I know it's not really blue, but anything you put in that's blue goes toward the background. And because it contrasts with the yellow, it makes it stand out a little bit. And I'm going to put I'm going to put a shadow right here of the pulpit over there. And a shadow here. Now there are more detailed types of drawing you can do. This lets you have your own personality and how you draw this. And you know, okay, and a little bit of reddish brown here. blend that in a little bit. Now with watercolors, you do, uh, if you're using the actual paint, you'd have to let this dry before you did this, or you would have mud. So I'm not, I'm not uh, really, just using brush strokes to do this. Okay, and then I'll add a little bit more of uh, the darker color here. They don't work too well in wet paper. Just add a little bit of shadow here. Here, right across here. Okay. So, um, happy drawing. Happy walking.